Hello guys, welcome to the next video on shell scripting tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will see how we can use if statement in our script. Now, if you are familiar with any other programming language, you may know that if statement can be used to evaluate some condition. And if the condition is true, then uh, your uh, you know code will be executed. Otherwise, it goes into else condition or it's not executed, right? So let's see how we can use if statement in our bash script. So to use if statement in bash script, you have the basic skeleton like this. So you write if and then in square bracket, you write some conditional expression. Okay, so I'm going to just write here condition. And then you write a keyword called then. And then you, if the condition is true, then you uh, perform that uh, statement. And then if the if statement is, uh, you know, done, then you write fi for the end of this if statement, right? So this is the basic syntax of uh, if statement. Let's see how we can use it with some example. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to declare a variable. Let's say the variable name is count here, okay? And the value of uh, count is, for example, 10, okay? And we want to evaluate this variable. So what I'm going to do here is in the square bracket, I'm going to just write the name of my variable. And then there are some, uh, comparison operator here I can use with the integers. So for con comparison, what you can uh, use, you can use equality or non-equality or greater than or uh, less than or greater than and equal to or less than equal to, right? So these are the comparison operator you can use. So I'm going to show you the list which uh, are the operator you can use with uh, integers. So you can see uh, this is the list I have. So you can use with integer minus eq for equal to, minus ne for not equal to, then gt for greater than, ge for greater than or equal to, lt for less than, and le for less than or equal to. And if you want to use these angle brackets, then you need to use double parenthesis instead of uh, this kind of uh, square bracket. So let's uh, use our first comparison operator, which is equal to, right? So after this count, you just need to write EQ for equality. And let's compare it with, for example, nine, right? Which we know that this condition is not true because uh, 10 is not equal to nine, right? So uh, what we can do here is we can echo that this condition is uh, true or false, right? In our case, this is not true, so nothing will be printed, right? So let's run our code and let's see what happens. So I'm going to run our uh, script and it prints nothing because uh, 10 is not equal to nine, right? But if I just use 10 here, which is the true condition, then let's see what happens. So it prints condition is true, right? In the same way, we can use uh, all these expressions which I have shown you. So for example, NE for not non-equality, so NE. And let's use uh, 9 here, which is uh, true condition because 10 is not equal to a 9, right? And once again, it's going to show us condition is true, okay? And so on. So if you want to use greater than, just write uh, gt here, gt. So 10 is greater than 9, which is true. And you will be able to see the result once again, right? So all these operators you can use to evaluate your condition in the case of uh, integer. Let's see uh, this angle bracket case also. So for checking uh, whether this count variable is greater than uh, nine or not, we can just use uh, this kind of angle bracket. And wherever the angle bracket opens, 
it has to be a bigger number in order to fulfill the condition. So let us see what, what is the result of uh, this uh, script and it says true and if you want to uh, just run it with double parenthesis also. So this expression you can just use with double parenthesis and then run it then it says true also right. So this kind of expression you generally use with double parenthesis right and you have uh, other expressions also like uh, greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. So let us see this expression this is also true condition. So you will see your uh, you know result here. Now for comparing the strings you have to use uh, for equality uh, single equal to or double equal to they are uh, same and if uh, in the case of non equality you can use uh, this kind of uh, exclamation mark and equal symbol or you have the angle bracket for uh, you know checking the alphabetical order ok. So let us say our uh, for example we have the word and let us say it is a b c right and here we can just use uh, this square bracket once again and then we can uh, just write in the name of our variable which is word and then to check whether it is equal to whatever we are providing here. So for example we say a b c let us check whether this condition is true or not right. So let us uh, run the script and it says condition is true. Now let us change this uh, comparison to for example some random uh, keyword and you can see there is no result that means this string is not equal to the string which is in the word variable right. So for string comparison you use uh, single equal to single equal to will also work here. So for example I have uh, this and single equals and then I run the script once again it says true. So you can use for equality single equal or double equal which is little, little bit weird uh, when you compare it with some other languages for example C or C++ or Java or any other language they use double equals for equality. But in our case you can use single equal or double equal in scripts right. Now you can also use uh, not equality or non equality for a string like this. So for example I have uh, this string and this condition is also true. So whenever we run the script it says condition is true ok. And whenever you want to uh, you know check the alphabetical order then also you can uh, use these angle brackets. So let us say this is A and here we have the B right and let us run the script once again and let us say what happens. So it says no such file or directory. So as we have seen in the case of integers whenever you use these angle bracket you need to use double parenthesis right. So whenever you use angle bracket with strings you need to use double square brackets. That is why you see this error here which says no such file or directory right. So you just need to use double square brackets with string whenever you use this these kind of angle brackets right. And let us uh, run the script once again and this time hopefully it will run. So it runs. So keep uh, these uh, you know conditions in mind. So whenever you, you want to use uh, uh, comparison operator with integers you can use single square bracket with these eq on ne or gt operations. Whenever you, you want to use uh, these angle brackets on integer comparison you need to use uh, double uh, parenthesis. Whenever you want to compare strings you can use uh, single equal to or double equal to for equality and whenever you want to use angle bracket with strings you just need to use double square brackets ok. Now uh, there can be uh, some other 
conditions with if you can use else condition also with if so let's see how we can use else condition so you may have guessed you just need to write else here so just write else and then you can just say for example condition is false so if you want to use uh, this kind of expression you already may have guessed that if the condition is true then it's going to go to this block after then before else and if the condition is false then it's going to go to the else statement and whatever is written between else and the end of the if condition that code will be executed right so let's run the code once again and let's say we say that a is equal to b which is false so else condition will be executed right so it says condition is false so if the condition is not true then the else statement code will be executed right now there is another way you can use if else condition so if you want to evaluate multiple condition and on the basis of uh, those multiple conditions you want to execute your uh, code then you can use if l if else condition so for example i'm checking here if the variable is a or not so for example i can here also write if and then uh, if the condition is true this statement will be executed otherwise i can also write here else if condition so just write l if and uh, inside l if once again write then and then here you can uh, also write some statements so for example you can just write something like this so uh, whenever this condition is true we will print condition for example b is true here and then here we will write condition a is true and here we need to write some uh, once again some condition to check so with l if also you can use these kind of condition and then for example we will just say a here right because we uh, are searching for a if a word is a then this will be printed right so once again run the script and let's see what's the result is and you can see condition a is true which is this one because our word variable is equal to a which is this condition right so if this condition is false then this condition will be evaluated and if it's true then this code will be uh, you know executed otherwise the last option is this uh, option in else condition so in this way you can use if else condition if condition and l if condition in your script so i hope you have enjoyed this video please read comment subscribe and bye for now